It is snow day number three for students across the NBC 25 viewing area, and that means for many a prolonged winter vacation and quite possibly a headache or two for the parents. NBC 25's Brittany Shannon in the newsroom to tell us how one Genesee County family is coping with a case of cabin fever. Well, Bill, no, school is not out for summer. It's out for an extended winter break. Students going on nearly three weeks of no class. For them, it means more time with friends, but for some parents I spoke with, they can't wait until school is back in session. It's a peaceful, picture-perfect postcard, but inside this grand blank home, a conflict is waging. Genesee County students now on day three of no school and hoping for another snow. Another snow day. But not everyone agrees. I'm hoping for school. School to be up and running um, so things can go back to the basics, go back to normal routine. The weekend snowstorm and deep freeze extending a two week Christmas vacation, making it nearly impossible for kids and parents to get out. We're pushing three weeks. Yes, that is about enough to make a parent go a little nuts. But kids are OK with the extended break. I don't think kids would ever be ready to go back if they had a choice. Just more time to hang out with my friends. I kind of get bored at school. I don't really like school, but you have to learn. Learning and peace of mind, something parents are counting on when it's back to the books. When we go back to school, it'll take more time to uh, get stuff back to normal. I love my kids and I love spending time with them, uh, but you can only entertain them and they can only entertain you for so long before everyone is just like, get me out of here. Now to find out if cabin fever will continue, head to our website, mynbcnews.com, where you can see all school closings and cancellations. In the newsroom, Brittany Shannon, NBC 25 News. Brittany, thanks. And